Next month, teenagers across England and Wales will be sitting their maths GCSE. They will be joined by a few familiar BBC Breakfast faces. Do you know, I've never bitten my fingernails, but now might be the chart time to start. Um, me, Jane, Tim, we're going to be walking into the exam hall four weeks from today. We're not the only mature students. Uh, thousands of people aged over 25 years old will be sitting exams this summer. Uh, Tim's been finding out more. Like many families, the summers from Solihull have GCSE exams looming. But it's mum, Rachel, who's busy revising. So, Rachel, a month ago, how's it, how's it all going? Uh, it's going OK. I wish I had more time to um, revise and practice. So why did you decide to do your maths GCSE? Um, when I was at school, I, maths was my weakest subject, and um, so I decided to go back and relearn everything myself. And one of the reasons as well is because you wanted to be able to help your kids out? Yes. If I want to ask her for help, she knows it. It's kind of weird, because I used to help her, but now she's helping me back. I think she's going to pass the flying colours. Pressure is on. I will miss it, because I've enjoyed actually going to the class and actually learning for two hours, just solid, doing something that's for me. OK, so here's one of my papers I've done. I've got, got my red pen handy. Oh Maths teacher Bobby Seagull has been guiding yeah. Naga, Jane and me as we get ready for our GCSE. For people who are doing their GCSE, say they're in their 40s, yeah. like I am, or maybe even older, what's your kind of take on the, on the age factor? Yeah, I think, I think it brings challenges, but it brings benefits as well. Challenges are that you did mathematics quite a long time ago, so it's obviously trying to recall and stretch the memory uh, from an experience a couple of decades back. But the positive side is now that you're an adult, you should be more mature, a more sensible approach. There's no point spending six hours one night and then doing nothing else for the entire week. Especially with mathematics, it's the constant revisiting that reinforces concepts. Working's really important. Yeah. Because even if you're not getting the right answer, you'll pick up at least a couple of marks of the working. So that's really important in mathematics. So now we come to your graph. This is appalling, Tim. I'm sorry. Use the pen for a graph. And what have you done here? You've joined the dots up. This is not dot to dot. A smooth curve for a quadratic. I feel I've let you down. We let the team down. But we can get there. We'll get there. Changing decimals to percentages. Rachel's been taking classes at Solihull College and University Centre. Intermediate fractions. So at school, if I didn't get it, I'd just shut down. Uh, whereas now, you know, as an adult, I want to do it, so there's, there's more of a drive to it. It took me a long time to pluck up the courage to come and do it because the fear of from when you, in your childhood and you don't grasp the concepts as well as you hope to. What's the next step, Steve, that we might take? You've got to divide the, the, the Fractions divide always part. comes up, yet when you start teaching it to them, they go, oh, is that it? I think there's a lot of stigma around particular topics um, from school. And for Rachel, it's all about seizing the day. A year ago I lost my best friend um, who I'd had since childhood and I decided that you've got to grab every, every opportunity because you don't know how long you know, you've got and I'd like to say I've got it and I've done it. One month to go, never too late to learn. Tim Muffett, BBC News.